Hey guys, it's Rochelle here with Losing It on Keto. And in this video, what I am going to do is I am going to try and make a whipped cream that's PSMF friendly. Now I've tried this twice before and it just didn't, didn't live up to my standards. Um, I even debated whether I should release that portion of the, those videos. Well, the one I did an entire video on it, but the one before I wondered if I should cut it out. But I thought I'd leave it because thought maybe somebody would benefit from it or know how to tweak it. But neither of those um, are, are up to my standards. So I thought I was going to give this uh, another, I thought I'd give it another go. And this time I'm going to compare a number of recipes. Um, so... I'm looking to have a whipped cream for my pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. And then I could use this for my chocolate pie and, and on and on. But, um, but I know that there are five grams of fat per tablespoon um, in heavy whipping cream. And you say, okay, I'm going to do a cup. And, and I certainly would eat more than this at the holiday time. I'd make a whole carton, but let's just say a cup and you don't overdo it. One cup alone is um, 80 grams of fat. And if you make a pumpkin pie and you get eight slices, that's 10 grams of fat per slice. And maybe I'm okay with that, um, knowing that I'm going to have to limit myself on the whipped cream. So... What I'm going to do, though, is I've got a number of recipes that I'm going to make use of egg whites. And I'm going to see if I can make a PSMF uh, friendlier whipped cream. And if not, then my plan will be to resort to the traditional keto whipped cream and just make sure I keep the, the quantity down. All right, so let's get, let's get started. So I've got, like I said, I've got three recipes uh, initially that I'm going to, to try. And so the first one, I'm going to try just with straight liquid egg whites. And now this one, um, well, and actually all of them, you have to have pasteurized egg whites because you're not going to be cooking them. So liquid egg whites are pasteurized. So I'm going with that. I'm going to make a smaller batch because I want to try all of these to see which one, if any, um, I would uh, choose to use as my, as my recipe. So I'm going to use my new, um, my new Cuisinart variable split, uh, variable speed, um, blender, food processor, hand blender, etc. So I'm going to do a quarter cup of egg whites. So this is going to be recipe number one. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar and glucomannan powder. Because in addition to taste, what I want is a stabilized cream. or topping. Okay, so there's a quarter teaspoon each of those. Didn't take much time at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I don't think this will deflate it, I'm going to go ahead while I'm uh, mixing this, I'm going to add the sweetener. Vanilla? And 
I want to do just a little pinch, little, little dash of salt. So there's that. And okay, look at that, you guys. So I'd say that's pretty, pretty stiff. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Wow, I could definitely. Mm. This is definitely better than my prior two attempts. Mm. I could um, use some more sweetener here. But definitely, definitely, definitely better than my other two. And if this was the only idea I had, I'd be very happy with this. What I'm curious about is how much sweetener do I need? So I'm going to do another whole tablespoon. So let's see. Okay. So let's give this another taste. So we figure out how, how sweet do we want this. Look at that, you guys. And this is another thing I want to do, is I want to see how long does each stabilize. So when I'm done here, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and see how long it stabilizes. That's beautifully sweet. Okay, it's not, not overly sweet by any stretch of the imagination. So that is nice. So I would say that what I would do is I'd go equal, equal parts powdered sweetener for the egg white. So a quarter cup egg white, a quarter cup powdered sweetener. I don't have that. I have one tablespoon less, but that's what I would do. All right, so I'm going to take this out of here. Uh, very feasible, much better than my prior two. All right, so I'm, I'm kind of excited that I know I have one, and that actually has the best PSMF macros because that has no fat in it. But I was anticipating maybe that not working and wanted to have other options. So I could stop here, but I want to keep going. And my next idea is to make use of mascarpone cheese. So what I'm doing here is I've seen heavy whipping cream and this used. I'm going to do egg whites again and see uh, what will happen. And I'm going to combine this with gelatin. So to my one quarter of egg whites, I am going to do a quarter teaspoon of gelatin. I'm going to let that bloom for three minutes. Now what I'm further going to do is I am going to use uh, 21 grams of this. I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, glucomannan powder. And the cream of tartar. And then... Okay, that's pretty good. Those are stiff. Now what I want to do is I want to get the... Vanilla added.
I want to get the little dash of salt. I want to get a quarter cup of the protein, I mean of the powdered sweetener. So I'll do two of these because this is an eighth. And then I'll wait to fold in. I got to figure out how I'm going to incorporate that, that cheese. But anyways, let's, let's do this part. All right, look at that, you guys. So I'd say again, pretty, pretty stiff. Nice, it came off nice. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a little whisk here, sorry for bumping the camera, but I'm gonna get this little whisk and I'm gonna manually try this. So this is what we've got here. Um, it might be a little sweet for me. So maybe three tablespoons, I would say. Okay. But that is good. And you know what? That should have been its own, its own test. So you know what, you guys? I'm going to turn this into two tests. I'm going to take part of this out because then I'm just testing the addition of the gelatin. Uh, because remember, it's taste and texture. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to have that as test number two for the stabilization. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ma mascarpone or mascarpone, mask, uh, you know what I mean. Um, Mascarpone, um, but I got to get it out from from this uh, from this little whisk because it's and I don't know if you guys are hearing that. There's a little bit of grittiness with this, which I assume because I didn't do one thing. I did not melt down the uh, the gelatin. And I believe that's the noise I'm hearing. Because I'm adapting this from an idea. And you would put that into the water before the heavy cream. Well, I can't do that here because I can't add water to the egg whites. So I think that noise you're hearing is, the, is coming from the gelatin. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and add it to here and I'm just going to stir this in so there we go you guys it's a little more like a frosting than a whipped cream but we're trying it. I can't say this is my favorite. Okay, so on this one, let me see here. This is 21 grams. So I need to get another 21 grams of this. So let me come back here to the scale. There that here. All right, so we've got the egg white. Let's do the quarter teaspoon of the glucomannan powder and cream of tartar. We've got that. Let's go ahead now and do the tiny bit of salt and then I'll wait to do the powdered sweetener the vanilla and the creme fraiche okay and I'm getting the hang of this guy which is I know I want it to face away from me like that because then I can hit both of these buttons at the same time because one's an unlock 
I can have them both at the same time while I'm holding this cup. Okay, so that's pretty stiff. Now we're going to go ahead, you see, pretty stiff. Now we're going to go ahead and add, fold in the crumb fresh. And you know what, guys? I want to try something now that this doesn't have the gelatin in it. Actually, without the gelatin, it's the same I just did. That was silly of me. All right, let's add the, the crumb fresh now. Fold that in. And because this is the last one, I can go ahead and add this. I'm not worried about the fat coming from this because I'm not going to make another one. Okay. I'm just going to mix this by hand because I don't want the egg whites to fully deflate. Okay, guys, let's give it a try now. Okay, so it's... All right, here we go. It's different. I can totally taste the creme fraiche coming through. So it's a, it's a different flavor. It's lighter, but it has a different flavor. Grow on me. Hmm. All right, let's put this in the refrigerator. And like I said, I'll come back probably the same time tomorrow night after 24 hours, and we'll see. But we're very close. This is the closest I've been to having a PSMF whipped cream. And if the results hold up, it's going to be a super friendly PSMF whipped cream because it's going to be basically egg whites. But let's, let's see. I'll see you back in the next segment. Hey guys, I'm back in this segment. It's been about, I don't know, 18 hours or so. So it's the next day. The whipped cream has been in the refrigerator the whole time. I just took it out. And these are our four versions, and I have to remember what's what. So this is the first one we made. The second, the third, the fourth. And I remember I called an audible and I split one up. And I want to, to recall doing that. Uh, so I've got to check on this. But this is the one that I thought was the best. This is just the egg whites. So it's, it stayed pretty, pretty stable because this was a texture thing to see, was it going to deflate? And let's see how the taste is the next day. Flavor is quite good. There's a little bit of crystallization that happened uh, with that. But the flavor is very good. That's still the, the best whipped cream, PSMF whipped cream I've made to date. And I also, while I got this here, I also forgot that I had ordered this whipped cream flavor from one-on-one um, -on -one flavors. And I didn't, I forgot to apply this. And so I am going to do that when I make this again. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that. So anyways, this is the most PSMF friendly. This is just the egg whites and the sweetener with the cream of tartar, glucomannan powder, uh, vanilla, and a little salt. Okay, so that's, that's excellent. The texture did change a little bit um, in that there is a little bit of crystallization. Okay, then this next one, this is the one. Okay, I, I made note of this. All right, good, 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 good. This is going to be easy to recall. Okay, so this one here is the same as the first one, except I added gelatin to this. All right, and I remember saying yesterday this was gritty. So let's see. I don't notice much of a difference between the first and the second one here. 
Yeah. No, this is grittier. This is grittier. Um, so the order right now, this is still holding firm as the best one. I don't like the mouthfeel of that. All right, now this one is... Um, uh, what is, wait a second here. Yeah, and now this is that one with the um, mascarpone uh, cheese. So this has, this has the gelatin in it. And you can see, I hope you can see, this is a very different, very different texture than, than those two. So let's see. Mm. This is doable. This is doable. There's a little bit of an aftertaste uh, that's coming from the mascarpone cheese. So it's not quite the whipped cream, but I think that's nice. So I would say still the egg whites, then I would put the second and the one with just the gelatin is still my least favorite. So now that brings us to this one here. And this is this recipe here. So just the egg whites and the powdered sugar and the cream of tartar and glucoman and powder, vanilla and the dash of salt. And rather than the ma mascarpone and gelatin, this then just has the, the creme fraiche. Okay, and this is the one I, I was liking last night, second to this. So let's see. So I'll tell you, in terms of texture, I don't know if you guys can tell this, but this is the best texture of all four of these. So this has the most whipped cream-like texture. I wasn't expecting this to be honest with you. All right, now let's give it let's give it a taste. All right. That's the worst. I put that. So I'll say this, any one of these are doable. Okay. Definitely not just with the gelatin added to this. No. But I would order them like this. This is the most PSMF friendly with the egg whites. This is that same recipe with the 21 grams of creme fraiche. And then this is with the gelatin and the uh, mascarpone. Um, this one has the best texture. So if we're talking about taste, that's it. If it's texture, I, I may go like this. But when you factor in both, it's this. This has, this is intriguing. This has like a little bit of a, it has a little bit of like a marshmallow -y flavor. So I'm not sure about this, but in terms of texture, yeah. So, okay guys, I'm back here for another segment for the whipped cream. And what I've got here is I've got the egg white one again, and I'll explain why. But what I didn't do the first time is I didn't add this whipped cream flavoring. So I want to do that, but that's not why I'm redoing this. I'm doing this for two other reasons. Hang on, let me prop this up. And I'll explain here what the two reasons are in a second as soon as I get this open. Um... There we go. Uh, I'm going to do it again. It's like between 2.5. I don't want to add too much. 
So I did about 2.25 milliliters of the whipping cream flavoring. But anyways, let me finish this and I'll explain. Okay. One thing I want to do is I want to test whether I have this and make it right at the time, you know, consume this right at the time I make it versus let it sit in the fridge. Because overall, I think I like this more when I first made it than I did earlier today after, you know, it had been sitting in the refrigerator for about uh, 18 hours. Um, and then I also wanted to uh, whip this up because I want to see what result I can get if I do a 50-50 of heavy whipping cream and the egg whites. So those are the two reasons why. And then I have to come back here and compare it to the real thing. So first of all, here's the egg white. You guys, that's so much better than sitting in the refrigerator for 18 hours. This absolutely is a replacement. And what got me earlier was, uh, was it sitting in the refrigerator. So that just answered that. So yes, this is my favorite. But my favorite at all is to consume this, um, make this right before you're going to consume it. Okay, I'm going to take this out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the real deal. So now what I want to do is I want to do exactly the same thing. But there's one other test that I want to do. I want to also visually show you you know cuz I'm I'm looking at trying to provide guidance for how you can reduce the fat. And so you either control it with quantity or you cut it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to try and cut it. So by that, there's four ounces. Um, I'm going to do eight ounces. I'm going to do a cup. Okay, because I want to see whether... A cup will cover a pie. All right, and then I'm going to do everything the same. I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of glucomannan powder, of cream of tartar, and now we need sweetener. And I know I didn't put enough sweetener. And that one, I only did two tablespoons. I don't know, maybe with the real cream, you don't need as much. I don't know. I can always add more. I'm going to do three. Uh, well, four, because it's a whole cup, and that was just for a quarter. So I'll do four tablespoons, and I'm going to hold off. Now I'm going to mix this. All right, look at that. Okay, now I'm going to do two, two tests here. I'm going to do half and half of the whipping cream and the egg white, because that would be one way to cut it. But I want to have a control... So I'm going to get a piece of pumpkin pie. And make this the final the final verdict. This was bothering me today after my first my first round. 
some egg white that's freshly made and put it on there. Look at how gorgeous that is. All right, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, now let's do the real thing. You know, I should have taken off the egg white. I still had the egg white on there. Let me try that again. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, let me try mixing them. So let's take a dollop of the egg white with a dollop of the heavy whipping cream. So that's what we've got. And now let's see what we have here. That is very light, very light. I need to clean my palate. Let me get some water. All right. Let me do this again. The heavy cream. Got it. Egg white. I actually prefer the egg white, you guys. And then you can, can blend them. So yeah, I prefer the egg white made at the time that you're going to consume it. Yes. That's my final verdict, you guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, so, my top choice is the egg white. Make it at the time you're going to consume. Uh, my second choice, because it's not much of a drop-off, and I like saving the macros would be to combine the two, 50-50. But you have to whip them like I did first and then combine. And then third, over all the ones that I did today, would be the real thing. And if you do the real thing, then you don't have to mix this, in uh, mix this at the time. You can do it in advance. And... If you use it sparingly, you can even cut because the whole pie, you can use less than a cup of whipping cream. Um, so if you used a tablespoon per slice, eight tablespoons, um, it's five grams. So that would be 40. So a half a cup, which is what I did here, I think that's plenty. So you actually could do this five grams. So given that, I'd probably go with, yeah, I mean, it's up to you how you want to spend. What's important to you? Maybe it's because I've been on PSMF too, for so long, but this is heavier than this, and I like the lightness of this. So that's what I would do. My top three are actually coming from this ahead of the other ahead of the other four. So the egg whites made at the time, a combination of the two, and I assume that um, 
Whipping cream would stabilize, help with the egg white, so I would assume you could make this combination in advance. And then you could make, if it was just whip, bit, whipping cream in advance, and now that I eyeballed it, which is why I wanted to make a full eight ounces, um, I think you could get by. Th that's definitely eight servings. So that would only be five added grams of fat for the whipped cream topping. So, guys, I hope this is helpful. A lot of work went into this. Um, I do think I, I taste this whipped cream flavoring, by the way, coming through in the egg whites. So I, that was definitely a nice touch. So anyways, like I said, guys, this has been a lot of work. Um, I, I hope this was helpful for you to help um, your menu plan for your holidays or just special occasion or anytime you want to you wanna sweet treat. Okay, so that'll do it. I've given you all my rankings now. So like I said, this, this trumps the uh, four I did originally. And you turn this into three. Egg whites made at the time. A combination is number two. The heavy whipping cream, number three. And then go with the other four. So the fourth would be the egg whites um, stabilized. Make it in advance and use it. Because what happens is it crystallized. And that's why I bumped it down the, the list. Okay. So there you have it, you guys. I hope this was help helpful. And like I said, I hope this is, uh, this is helping you figure out your, your meal plan. Now I just need to edit this and get this out in time <laughs> for Thanksgiving. we got two weeks to go. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. So I just thought I'd show you what these look like before I put them in the refrigerator. So I've put plastic wrap over them. So this is the heavy whipping cream. And this is the egg white. And you can see when I say this is much lighter, you can see why, you can visually see that. And then you can kind of uh, um, extrapolate what you would get if you combine these two. So hence, this is number one. The combination of these are number two. And then this is number three. Okay? So I thought as I was wrapping these, it was like, wow, that is so different. I thought I'd show that. And that's why I said... Maybe it's because I've been on PSMF so long, but this is so much thicker than this that I prefer the lightness. And I have to tell you, the weight of this, I know this is only a quarter, but um, where this, so this was four, uh, this was eight um, ounces. So I know I've got two times as much here, but still, this is more than two times heavier than this. So anyways, I thought I'd show you that as well. And again, it's giving you options. And I didn't um, put this film over this um, when I put it in last night, but I am going to um, this time because I want to see if I can keep the, uh, the crystallization eliminated or keep it to a minimum by putting the plaster wrap over it. So anyways, guys, now the video is done. If I find that putting this wrap over it made a significant difference, I'll pop in or... I'll just put it in the description, okay? So again, guys, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.